So I'm going to start warming up as I explain this to you guys. Um, and then we'll go, but you guys know the drill. We'll do arms, legs, um, hinges and squats, and then anything else you need. Um, but I'll be doing it. So if you just want to mirror me while I'm explaining, but essentially we're doing basically four and a half rounds and the rounds will be eight minutes. And in that eight minutes, we're first going to do that block A you see. And every exercise we see there, so the squats, the shoulder taps, um, the dumbbell swings, the legs, or the core bit, and then I think there's bent over rows at the end. We're doing 20 reps each time. So when this is all said and done, we'll have done 100 reps of those. But after in that eight minutes, we get through those, then we move block by block. So the first round, we're just going to work on group one, and that's going to turn into that AMRAP style. So we'll do those three exercises repetitively until we get through. Um, I did this workout um, with the HIT class this morning, and we usually got through about one, one and a half, maybe two. So while there are burpees, I promise you it's not that many. Um, and then when we get through the four rounds, we're gonna finish out that A block to make it um, 100 reps, but there won't be any exercises after that does that kind of make sense to everyone yep okay i know it looks a little confusing on the screen and in my head when i try to explain it it doesn't make perfect sense but um of course i will keep you guys in the loop with what exercises we're doing it just gets hard when we do kind of self-paced stuff Quick like question. this yes Sorry, so we always do A, 20 reps. So we do A, one AMRAP, back to A after the eight minutes, and then two. Yep. Okay, so it's always starts with A and then as many reps as possible for the rest of the eight minutes. Yep, exactly. Um, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it just gets hard when, because you guys definitely don't have to move at my pace. I. Hope you guys move a little bit quicker, but um, if you're a little bit behind, that's fine too. It just gets hard to be like, oh, do burpees, do bicep curls, do triangles while um, I'm doing them and I'm not sure where all you guys are. I can, you guys are like this big at the back of the screen, bottom of the screen, so I can kind of gauge, but I also can't see everyone at one time. So I'm just finishing up my hip hinges. Then I've got squats. Um, then I'll come mute you guys and explain that a group of exercises and one, and then we'll get about two minutes of recovery between maybe a minute and a half blocks. Um, and during that time, you guys can get your water, kind of catch your breath, and I'll explain the exercises. But when I did this this morning, it's definitely more strength-based than cardio-based. So your, my heart rate didn't get too, too high, but I felt tired after. Our muscles feel tired. I mean, 100 reps of anything is a lot. All right. So, okay. So, we're starting with. I'm doing body weight squats. If you want to increase, res increase resistance, you can definitely hold your weight in front of you, but we'll just do 20 body weight squats. So you guys are pretty familiar with these feet, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Weight stays in your heels. We squat back. Our thighs are going to get parallel to the ground. And then we push through our heels off the ground and squat up, pushing kind of against the the earth. Then for shoulder taps, we're going to go into a high plank position and just rotate, tapping our shoulders. With this, you of course can go to your knees. If you do make that modification, just make sure your hips are still down and you have a line from those shoulders to your hips. So you're still working that core. From there, we're going to stand up and do dumbbell swings. You can do this with one or two dumbbells. I'm kind of liking the one more. So I just hold it on one end, hinge my hips, 
That's the movement here. It's not a squat. Fire my hamstrings and glutes forward. The weight's gonna come up a little bit with momentum, but that one's not intended to be a shoulder exercise. After you do 20 reps of the dumbbell swings, we're gonna do core reach outs. So for these, our hands are gonna be on the ground. We're gonna be hinged backwards at our hips. And then what we're gonna do is pick our feet up. We're gonna go out. So your elbows are gonna bend a little bit and squeeze in. Out, in, out, in. So you're up kind of on your tailbone on the back of your hips for that one. 20 reps of that. Then we hop up, grab both dumbbells again, and we've got bent over rows. So we're gonna have a micro bend in our knee, hinge at our hip, chest stays big, so our shoulders are gonna stay back and down. We're gonna do palms facing each other, and we're gonna keep our elbows in tight and row those weight. We're working our lats here. And so that's gonna be a every time, 20 reps, every exercise, each round. This first time we're doing burpees. So if you have your chair, you can do the modification of burpees against your chair. So you're just gonna hop out with your hands on the chair or step, hop or step those feet in, come up, jump. You of course can do them on the ground. You'll do eight of those. From there, we're gonna grab our weights again. We've got bicep curls, elbows in tight. Just doing 10 quick bicep curls. And then from there, you'll drop one weight. I think we did these triangles a couple weeks ago, but what we're gonna do is hold the weight stable over our shoulder. We'll turn our feet. Um, you're gonna turn your feet to the opposite direction. And then what you're gonna do is take your, what will be now for me, my left hand, and run it on the inside of my leg and stand. This is gonna be your oblique work here. So that's where I want you guys to focus on feeling this. That weight stays steady above your head, six each side. So we'll just continue to go through those three exercises until that eight minutes hits. I'm gonna grab the timer. I'll put it on the background so you can see. This first round, it's gonna take a little bit for our body to warm up. So we may not get through um, that, that A block quicker, but the goal is as this progresses, especially in that third and fourth block, we're getting through quick. So then we have more time um, on this AMRAP thing. So with that being said, get yourself ready. We are about to hop into body squats. All right, we have eight minutes. So this is definitely self-paced. Let's start. You can get through everything as quickly as you can. This first one, you can definitely take nice and slow. Our body's still warming up. You're still working on that full range of motion. Then from there, we're going into shoulder taps. We're gonna do 20 taps each, so each shoulder here. Your wrists are gonna be directly, my gosh, I can't talk, directly under your shoulders. Butt stays down. From there, you'll stand up, grab your dumbbell, and we have dumbbell swings. I know I do dumbbell or kettlebell swings in almost every exercise. I love them as a workout if you're intentional about doing them. They are not supposed to be a shoulder workout. We're working our glutes and our hamstrings here. So focus on snapping those up.
You can definitely, if you have lighter dumbbells, use both dumbbells for those. And that'll go more on the outside of your leg, but it's the same general movement. Hips, hinge. We elongate those hamstrings to increase the tension in it so it can fire with more power. After those, we're hitting the ground. We have these core reach outs. And then our final exercise is the bent over rows. For the bent over rows, I want you to think about swiping your elbows next to your rib cage and not up towards your armpits. I know your elbows can't get that close to your armpits, but keep them down towards your hips. That's going to engage our lat more so than our trap. So the focus becomes on the mid back and not really the upper back into around our neck. When we finish up these, we hit into that AMRAP. So we've got eight burpees, 10 bicep curls, six triangles each side. We're only at four minutes here. So I'm confident we can get through two rounds here pretty easily. We're pushing ourselves here. I know we're still warming up. Only eight burpees. Then we've got bicep curls. On the bicep curls, when you go down, I want you to be sure your elbows extend all the way. We're not going three quarters. So we get full range of motion in those biceps, just like the hamstring curls. We want to increase the length of those to increase the tension to curl up. After those curls, keep one weight. We've got triangles, six each side. You're gonna try and keep the leg your hand is rubbing against straight. You can bend the leg the weight's under. Feel that you're controlling your movement with your core using the center of your core and your obliques to crunch you down. We've got two minutes, so we can definitely get through this a second time. Keep yourself moving here. You should start to feel your body warming up. Feel like you're getting increased range of motion in your shoulders, in your hips if your back's been tight, hopefully loosening up a little bit. Feel your heart rate up. Keep working. I want you to feel comfortable if you're pushing the pace to work ahead of me. I will not be offended. This class is definitely 
controlled by what you're gonna put into it, how much of the AMRAP you wanna get. You can slow the movements down, work on that range of motion if you wanna make it more strength-based, if you wanna tax your heart, do a little bit more cardio, try and get through reps quicker. Of course, don't sacrifice your form, but you can push yourself a little bit harder. We have 25 seconds. Keep yourself moving. If you get through two, 